Satsuki azalea is a popular and highly regarded bonsai variety known for its vibrant and abundant flowers. It belongs to the rhododendron indicum species and is native to Japan. The name Satsuki or Satsuki in Japanese means fifth month, indicating that these azalea typically bloom in May, although they can flower at different times depending on the specific cultivar and growing conditions. Here are some key features and characteristics of Satsuki azalea bonsai. Appearance. Satsuki azalea bonsai exhibits small, glossy, dark green leaves that create a dense foliage canopy. The plant has a compact and bushy growth habit, making it suitable for bonsai cultivation. Flowers. One of the most striking aspects of Satsuki azalea bonsai is their profusion of beautiful flowers. The blooms come in various colours, including shades of white, pink, red, purple, and multicoloured varieties. The flowers often have multiple layers of petals, creating a visually appealing display. Flowering period. Depending on the cultivar, Satsuki azalea bonsai can bloom from spring to summer. Some varieties may even have sporadic blooms throughout the year. The extended blooming season adds to their desirability for bonsai enthusiasts. Cultivation. Satsuki azalea bonsai are relatively hardy and can tolerate a wide range of climates. They prefer partial shade as excessive sunlight can scorch the leaves. These bonsai thrive in well-draining, acidic soil, similar to their natural habitat. Regular watering is necessary to maintain moist soil, but it is essential to avoid overwatering, as it can lead to root rot. Pruning and shaping. Like other bonsai varieties, Satsuki azalea bonsai require regular pruning to maintain their desired shape and size. Pinching and pruning techniques are employed to encourage compact growth and enhance ramification or branching. They tend to be basally dominant, meaning that they have stronger growth towards the bottom of the tree, which should be pruned harder than the top. The primary pruning season typically occurs after flowering, allowing the bonsai to recover and develop new buds for the following year. Wiring and styling. Wiring is a technique used to guide the growth of branches and shape the bonsai. However, caution must be exercised whilst wiring Satsuki azalea bonsai, as their branches are relatively brittle. Younger branches are more pliable and easier to wire. It's recommended to wire them during the dormant season to minimise the risk of branch breakage. Repotting. Satsuki azalea bonsai should be repotted every two to three years to prevent root congestion and ensure healthy growth. The roots are very dense and fine, almost like candy floss. The best time for repotting is in spring, just before the new growth emerges, although some people say they should be repotted after flowering. It's crucial to use a well-draining acidic soil mix such as canuma, suitable for azaleas, and to prune back some of the roots during repotting to maintain a balanced root to foliage ratio. Satsuki azalea bonsai are susceptible to common bonsai pests such as aphids, scale insects and spider mites. Regular inspection and appropriate measures should be taken to control pest infestations. Additionally, azaleas are prone to fungal diseases such as powdery mildew and root rot, so proper watering practices and good airflow around the plant are essential. Satsuki azalea bonsai are highly valued for their stunning flowers, versatility in styling and the rewarding challenge they present to bonsai enthusiasts. With proper care and attention, these bonsai can thrive and bring beauty to any bonsai collection or garden. There are a number of reasons for repotting your bonsai. One of them is purely cosmetic um, for aesthetic purposes, and that's clearly the case here. Um, other reasons might be for the health of your tree, and also it might need an emergency repot if, for example, your pots have been damaged, as a couple of mine were in the recent high winds. So I've just created a little butterfly clip on the bottom of the pot. As you see there, so that's the, the potting mesh secured. And now I just need to put a 
couple of wires to the bottom to secure the tree. And now it's time to get the tree out of the pot and have water. Cut the tight end wires there. And here we go, it's the tree out of the pot. Now, a couple of things about azalea. They are basally dominant, which means that most of the growth happens around the base of the tree, and you'll often get suckers growing there as well. So when you're pruning your azalea, you want to prune heavier on the lower part of the tree. The roots tend to be quite shallow, and so often the major root mass will happen quite shallow in the pot, quite high up. Also, the roots are very, very fine and quite feathery. They do like to grow in an ericaceous or slightly acidic soil. And for that purpose, uh, a lot of people will use this Kanuma soil, which is a Japanese river clay and the stand, which is quite acidic, but it has this very distinctive yellow color. I recently bought mine from All Things Bonsai. So you can see here, I'm just going around the periphery of the roots and loosening those up. And as you can see, it's quite a distinctive colour. Right, let's just offer up the tree to the pot again. And I think that's probably an okay height there. So I'm just going to use my tie down wires just to secure that in there. So I'm just pulling and twisting just to tighten the wire. And just tie that up. And there is a bit of a void around the outside of the tree because it's a an in-curve pot so I'm now just trying to fill that void and I will be chop sticking that in just to make sure I fill all the gaps so I'm just chop sticking around the edge just getting that soil to settle down into the gaps between the tree roots and the edge of the pot and you can see as I chop stick away the soil is disappearing down into the gaps and I'll just keep backfilling until all of that is gone. Before I continue, I just need for you to hit the like button, to share the love and possibly consider subscribing to be notified of future videos. My Satsuki Azalea here has flowered quite late this year and you can see now that the flowers are spent and beginning to go over and so this is the time to remove those flowers. What will happen is that each of these flowers will develop into a seed pod which will absorb energy or drain energy from the tree. It's energy expenditure which is not required. And so by removing those, we're making sure that the tree doesn't use energy pointlessly. And that will give it more energy to grow and develop. And what I'm doing is, each of these flowers has a stalk. And that stalk is what will develop it into a seed pod. And so I'm just taking that off at the base. And just snip it. And just snip it there. And I'm going around the entire plant and doing that.
whilst I'm working on my tree, you can see here that azaleas are basically dominant, so we've got a lot of suckers forming here. And what that means is that the growth on the tree tends to be strongest, lowest down, and these need removing.